गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एम आई नॉट ऑडिबल रिटेलर्स दे फॉलो वाइल uh they do a retailing so uh, talking about uh, just have an overview of the different strategy which the retailers have now the retailers see the the retailers they usually adopt four major strategies let me give you the overview of that i have discussed this with you in the last class also that right positioning is very important yes and what do we mean by positioning yes anyone ma'am store location and all uh okay see uh, the positioning is that how we are fixing our brand image in the mind of the customer that means how you have fit your product in the mind of the customer clear so fixing up the uh, product brand in the minds of the customer is very important and uh, the retailers their prime important uh, functioning is that they should correctly position their uh, brand in the minds of the customer yes or no yes ma'am yes so uh, why this is important see the customer should have the positive image in their mind and then only uh, they will move further for the purchase of the brand yes or no so when uh, the customer they have the positive image in their mind for a product then only they'll be engaged into buying of of the product so it is very important for the retailer to rightly position their brand in the minds of the customer so this is what do we mean by right positioning clear then again the strategy is the visual communication you all must be knowing that communication is a very important uh, aspect for any process or any relationship building isn't it so the retailers they need to display their uh, merchandise in such a manner that whatever that they are selling is well communicated to the customers clear yes or no am i audible yes ma'am yes, ma yes okay ma'am wo ppt show nahi ho rahi screen sharing wali ppts are not coming no ma'am okay. no ma'am okay let me check is it now yes ma'am ab aa rahi hai okay ab aa rahi hai okay okay so uh, when we are talking about the retailing strategy then uh, we 
were focusing on the four major strategy which the retailers they use first i discussed with you is the right positioning then second is the communication and that to the visual communication so what do you mean by visual communication anyone see by visual we mean that you are presenting your product in such a manner that the product specification the product features they are usually been visualized by the customer clear so the proper yes. lighting arrangements and the proper props should be there in the retailer's shop so that it is uh, your product characteristics your product attributes they are well communicated to the customers is it clear yes ma'am yes, ma okay so visual communication is important for example uh, let me uh, give you one situation you would when you enter into the big bazaar what do you find you find that whatever offers that they are giving is well displayed in each and every section yes yes ma'am okay so why what is the reason behind displaying of those all offers in the retailing shop the purpose is only to have a visual communication establishment with the customers so when the offers they are well displayed in the retailing shop then they are easily been communicated with the customers who are arriving in the retail shop clear and this will help in selling up of the product to the end customer now moving further the third strategy which the retailers they usually adopt is the strong supply chain what do you mean by supply chain yes anyone ma'am the movement of uh, final goods to the end consumer yes so supply chain basically means is that how your product is been moved from the manufacturer to the end customers so here when we talk about the supply chain with respect to the customers sorry with respect to the retailers we mean here that the critical components of the supply chain planning applications they should be well managed yes and what do we mean here by well managed that is they should be so placed that it meet the retailers requirement of the service level okay and retailers requirement of the service level is see the retailer requirement is that all the intermediaries they should be properly functioning they should be well in operation so that the retailer is also able to function so to maintain the profit margin of the retailers the strong supply chain is required okay then again changing the perception what do you mean by perception what is perception mam preconceived notion yes see uh, see the uh, perception is the preconceived notion okay and uh, by preconceived notion what do we mean we mean that whatever the brand image 
the custom uh, the consumers have is the perception towards the brand okay so the retailers requirement is that they should maintain or as per the requirement as per the need they should change the consumers perception okay and changing the consumer perception here is that see sometimes what happened is that the customers uh, they do not have the positive image of the brand yes and uh, they do not have the positive image of the brand they carry the negative perception so the negative perception hinders the buying up of the commodity yes or no so okay. the retail retailers they should uh, actually work on to manage the customers or we can say the consumers perception as well okay and changing up of the consumers perception is so required so that they can have the positive image in their minds and they can move further and customers they purchase their commodity so these are uh, the basic retailing strategy which the retailers they usually adopt now when we talk about the retailers marketing strategy it usually consists of the two aspects okay and the two aspects of the marketing strategy is that how do they select the target market and how do they develop the retailing mix to satisfy the needs of the target market clear so talking about that how they select the target market so can anyone tell me that what can be the basis of selecting the target market what can be the basic uh, strategy anyone yes akshay no one no ma'am okay so uh, let me discuss then see the retailers while selecting uh, the market what do they check they first check that which type of market market potential they will be able to serve and what do i mean uh, by saying that they are able to serve see every retailers they function in the their own constraint they have their own positives they have their own negatives isn't it so the retailers they usually find that which all market they can cater which market they can serve and their selection usually depends upon the size of the market and the profit potential of the market what is profit potential of the market parth what is profit potential of the market customers ability to buy a product any product like their interest like their buying a behavior yes see by profit potential we mean that what to the retailers they assume a degree of profit from a particular market that means that uh, if we talk about the market what profit potential what we can expect that how much profit we can retrieve from the particular segment of the market is considered as the 
profit potential of that market yes and keeping into the mind supposingly if a particular market has a higher potential high profit potential and the other market is having the low profit potential which market will the retailer select obviously the one which has the higher profit potential yes so uh, the retailers what do they check they check that the market segment that they are targeting should have high profit potential and less level of competitions clear their requirement is that the profit potential of the market should be high and the competition level should be low clear and at times the retailers what they do they usually target the market on the basis of the demographics on the basis of the geographical characteristics and then they decide that how they should target a particular market so this is how they select the market now the uh, the other component of the marketing strategy is the merchandising strategy the merchandising strategy is what do you mean by merchandise merchandising is the line of the product that you are dealing into so developing the merchandising strategy that is how the market shift what is the product mix the high level of the space it is all included in the merchandising strategy then other uh, retailers good morning ma'am they should discuss the merchandising strategy with the business leaders as well okay so these are uh, the basics of the major marketing uh, strategy which the retailers they follow then again uh, once they uh, find and they are clear up of that which market that they are targeting then again the strategy is the customer service strategy what do you mean by customer service strategy anyone what is customer service strategy i'm basically providing extra services to the customer except than the selling of products like building inter, uh, good relationships with the customers building loyal customers giving products on credit and many more facilities yes see here we all know that the retailers their uh, basic function is to sell their product to the customers okay so uh, the retailers they should provide the customer service in such a manner that more and more customers are attracted towards their services and more and more customer they are attracted towards the services and the retailers they should be able to retain their target customers as well clear so these are uh, the basic of the customer uh, service strategy and how they will be able to attract and retain the target customer by providing them the strategy is like the home delivery services at times the credit facility the return privileges 
the delivery and installation these are all the add ons of the services that they are providing to the customer clear this home delivery service providing the goods on the credit the return privileges all this will help the retailers to attract and retain the customers more yes or no yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so uh, the retailers the another strategy that uh, after selecting up of the target market oh. is their customer service strategy that what all they should how they should uh, cater to service to their customers uh. so as to attract and retain them more next then again the other component of the retailing strategy is the pricing strategy now the pricing strategy it depends upon the retailer's objectives and the policy see uh, how uh, the you, how the marketer they usually set up the pricing for their product as per what their objectives are and what their policies are and as per the objectives and the policies only the marketers they set up their pricing price for the product yes or no yes so every organization yes, they know their financial status and as per their financial status they set up the pricing for their product what their objectives are okay so these are all the different uh as strategies that the retailers they usually adopt selecting the market how they they are serving to the customer and how they are setting the prices for the commodity to for their customers and obviously the price that they are setting up for the uh, commodity should be the reasonable one it should not be the and the higher strata mm. yes it should be at par with the other retailers as well because the customer won't be purchasing your product then then the other strategy after pricing strategy is your location and the distribution strategy <laughs> see the location is usually responsible for retailer success or failure failure Do you all agree with this yes ma'am see we can assume that if the retailing shop is located at a prime locality then obviously the sale will be more because the customers approach more in the better located stores more number of the customers they arrive at the uh, that place and so they reach to the retailers also clear and if we talk about the location then there are different factors on which the location of the store depends and the location of the store it depends on the type of merchandise and the financial status of the retailer the different characteristics yes, that the target market have and the availability of the site yes ma'am okay so these are all the factors that affect the location first availability should be there then the retailer should have that much of the finance to have their store there they should have the capability that they can target their the market there so these are the different factors uh, that on which the location of the store depends clear so the retailers they should adapt the location of their store in such a manner that they can well attract the customers clear
then to see promotional strategies ma'am to create a perception about the product in customers mind create a perception yes ma'am yes see promotion it is basically an advertising tool to build up uh, the brand image in the minds of the customer yes ma'am yes so when uh, uh, i talk about that uh, the promotion strategy see promotion strategy is the basically the advertising strategy and the advertising strategy here is that the uh, retailers they should use the different promotion measures so that the customers they get to know more about their product and uh, and they are able to buy their product well clear so these are uh, the other strategy that the uh, retailers they usually adopt is the store atmospheric and uh, what do you mean by store at atmospheric what is a store at uh, atmospheric nivedita मैम ये नहीं पढ़ा मैंने ये चीज नहीं दिखी मुझे बट आई थिंक यू ऑल मस्ट बी नोइंग व्हाट व्हाट डू आई मीन बाय स्टोर एटमॉस्फेरिक आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ सूटेबल एनवायरनमेंट फॉर कस्टमर्स ये एक्टिव एंड सूटेबल एटमॉस्फेरिक इज द बेसिक एनवायरनमेंट ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट सो द रिटेलर्स दे शुड मेंटेन द optimum environment of the product clear and environment of the product should be environment of the store should be such that that you are using the proper lighting proper communication is there proper props that you are using so these are uh, the basic strategies which the uh, retailers they adopt for uh, 